Hello folks, I wasn't planning to do two videos today, but I thought while I'm here I'll show you this one because it is saved my campaign at the moment. Um, don't know about you, I think that although Foundry has fantastic features, where it falls flat at the moment is sound and audio management. Um, Atropos, the developer, knows about this. He said, it's, he said it's on the road plan for getting fixed, there's things in mind. I've tweeted him a couple of times, basically crying, trying to get him to do it. Um, it is getting done, but there's no ETA as of yet. This causes loads of problems. I'm about to talk about Curse of Strahd spoilers, by the way. So if you are not familiar with Curse of Strahd, or if you're a player in it, I'm about to mention some names of places and people that you might fight in that place. So jump ahead about a minute or until I, I wave at the camera when I'm done talking about spoilers. Um, spoilers start now. Quite often when you're designing a place, you can end up with quite a few playlists for it in Foundry. So I'm talking about, although my map is Wizard of the Wines at the moment, Argenvost Holt. So Argenvost Holt is a big ruined manor. I found myself with an exterior, so a ground floor exterior ambience, like outside in the grounds, ground floor exterior music. When they go inside the building, you obviously want a different sort of ambience. So then I had an indoor ambience, and then I needed an indoor music for when they're walking around. So straight away, that's four. I then wanted combat music. Now it's mostly ghouls and ghosts and revenants in there. So that's a soundtrack for that. But there's also a room full of spiders. For me, I want different sort of creepier music for that. So that's six. They may be talking to a particular angry revenant in there. So if there's a playlist for a social encounter there, that could turn into combat. So that's eight tracks now for a combat. There is a different NPC in there they could have been talking to. That's unlikely to turn into combat. So for me, I had nine music ambient playlists just for moving through Argon Vostol. You may not... You may want sounds that you trigger. For example, this is still Argonvoss spoilers, there is a trapped corridor where if someone gets to a certain point, stone walls slam shut behind the players and enemies come out and attack. Um, I want a nice big stone door slamming sound effect that I can trigger. That becomes a real pain to do when on the list of playlists at the moment in Foundry, you can't organize or hide very easily. You've just got endless playlists. I've just talked about nine music and ambience playlists for one location alone in the game. I'm gonna end spoilers now. Wave, I'm waving if you were locked out for my spoilers. So no more spoilers, that's all it was, everyone died. Um, this add-on is called Soundboard by Blitz. Blitz is the person who made, I think, Dance and Lights originally. I can't show you everything about this because it involves going out of Foundry, but it's self-explanatory, I think, in some areas. And it does exactly what I've been hoping some modules would do from the start. When you have this playlist enabled, let me just minimize that, you get a new button on your playlist screen called Open Soundboard. And when you click on it, it opens this up. Now, what I love about this, when you install the module in Foundry, on your computer, you will have a folder called Soundboard, and in there, you can make folders and just drop sound files in. So if I just minimize and collapse all of these, all of these categories are just folders I put in my computer. So I made a melee folder, I moved um, to sound effect files, I've clipped into it. People can go and get their sound effects from various places, some legitimate, some not. Um, drop the files in here. I don't like how in Foundry I have to, by default, click, go and search, find the file, hope I never move it. If there's any spaces in the name, it pulls through with hashes. If I go in and I click play, um, it then jumps up to the top while it's played, then it jumps back down. With this, my barbarian describes blocking a blow. I knew I should have turned my phone off. 
I'm going to turn this off now in case it rings. I'm not really recording this whole video. I just hope you'll forgive me for not putting my phone on silent. My Barbarian um, is a dex-based axe and shield tanky Barbarian, um, the player in my campaign. He does a lot of blocking. Now, what you will find with this, if you start to use soundboards, your players will quickly notice if a monster getting stabbed always has the same noise. So I like to make a couple. So you'll see here I've named different shield blocks. Um, you can do that. My ranger likes to summon animals. So I've made some animal sounds for her. Her familiar is an owl. Um, you can make as many categories as you want. I've hardly started using this yet. I don't have much in here, but I have so many plans to fill this out. Um, you've got options in here as well. You can go to a sound and set it to either repeat, to repeat for a certain amount of time, or mark it as a favorite. So if you have particular spells that are always getting used, you can see up here, you can go to my favorite sounds and they'll be shown in here. Um, bundled sounds, I haven't really used this yet, but these are ones that are set up in the, um, in the module. When you have a folder, like my, what's a good one for me to use? Um, I might, so I've got a soundboard for a location, Selenka, which is a location in, um, in Curse of Strahd. If I make a folder within that folder, anything in there becomes a wild card noise. So I only learnt this afterwards. I'm going to have a creature, I'm not going to name it in the video um, here, that is going to be on the Selenka Pass, which is an area in Curse of Strahd. As my players are traversing it, I want them to hear roars that it might make. Now, I originally set this up 1 to 10, and I thought, well, I'll come through and click them. Actually, if I'd put another folder in, like we have in our bundled sounds here, we have 10 different cow moves. If I click it, you'll see these are different moves from the same button. So you can put more, if you have, we call it wildcard sounds. Um, not everything would be appropriate for that. Like you don't want to put all your spells in because your players would start to notice. When I, ca when I, you know, I cast identify, why well, I didn't make a fireball sound. But for cries and maybe battle cries and shouts and wolf howls you might want to do that and it just keeps your soundboard screen much more organized because he just has cow moo 10 whereas i had a whole row a whole row taken up by roars there's not too much else to talk about with this really you can choose the volume for it when you are playing you can decide if it's being played for everybody i have no players logged in at the moment so i don't have any other options or you can choose to play it for a specific player. I absolutely love this. This has gone straight. I only found this a week ago. Now, one of my players sent a video around that you might have seen of um, like a disco effect that's been done with the new foundry settings. Um, and I just noticed this pop up and was like, whoa, 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 we need to find out what this is. And it's gone straight to being quite literally my favorite module now. Um, my session was last night. And I was using this constantly. My barbarian was hacking his way down a corridor. This corridor, actually, that was filled with enemy types, I'm not going to say. I mean, it, what the combat that happened here in the winery last night is not from the module. It was kind of a, a side event of the player's own creation. But he was making heavy use of this. Going down the corridor, I think he killed two, three enemies in one round. And it was just, you know, going through and blocking things and Strahd was attacking and they were having parries uh, it was it's really really good you can identify your spells I haven't had to use this yet but um, you can start to associate sound effects I'm doing a World of Warcraft one shot soon um, for some of my players from a different campaign and I you can believe I'm downloading all the spell sounds from found um, from Wowhead and use them that so when they cast spells they get the actual world of warcraft spells um a huge amount you can do with this i very very heavily recommend it all you have to do outside of foundry is navigate around some folders i imagine if you're remotely organized 
you probably have all your sounds and your assets organized into folders anyway. So this for me goes straight to being a must. Um, I'll end, end the video there, that's 10 minutes. As ever, if there's anything you want to see me cover in Foundry, please do just leave a comment below asking. Um, if you want to see how I put this into application, I stream my Curse of Strahd campaign every Tuesday, half seven in the evening, British time, um, over at twitch.tv forward slash Harrison underscore stream. I'll leave a link below. But otherwise, thank you very much and have a good night. Bye.